About 20 years ago, uh, the city of Ladonia invited Upper Trinity uh, to their area to uh, build a new lake. Upper Trinity needed a lake for a water supply. Ladonia needed a new economic development uh, engine for their area. And so that started a journey between the city of uh, Ladonia and Upper Trinity as well as Fanning County. To ensure uh, the water quality for this reservoir that is being built, the district uh, commissioned a comprehensive study, uh, land use planning activity with the local citizens and stakeholders. This led to formation of the study and a zoning commission development. And now we're working on the final elements of that project so that there will be a, a template or a guide for development around the reservoir. Upper Trinity, Fannin County, and the City of Ladonia worked together to develop the comprehensive master plan and zoning regulations around the lake. Uh, those regulations and that comprehensive plan is important because we need to make sure development around the lake is done in a manner that protects the water quality. The comprehensive plan was used to be a roadmap for future development around Lake Ralph Hall. So developers or other individuals that are looking to to buy land or to do things in the future, they know the areas that certain things are allowed and can be strategic in, in their purchases and, and their development activities. It's Fannin County's land. It's, it's the people's land. And it's the citizens of Fannin County that, that ultimately are gonna, are gonna benefit from um, what I view as, as really an economic engine uh, that will drive uh, development and, and business here. Uh, for years to come and so it was critical to get that input. There were public meetings held in um, a couple of different areas. So we brought the public in, uh, we asked them for input. There were storyboards up and charts and they actually could put colored stickers on some of the uh, graphics to say yes I like this, no we don't want this. So all that inf input and that information was taken in to begin to build a comprehensive plan. I believe the comprehensive plan is gonna benefit the community because it's important to have steps in place for a clear vision when you're doing any sort of development. Economics and the benefits of, of adding up a lake like Lake Ralph Hall will benefit all members of Fannin County. Even if you don't live near the lake, uh, there's a tax base that uh, the development around the lake is going to go into. So that we've already seen benefits of, of another lake uh, in that. And that's only going to benefit everybody from that standpoint. And then those in, in Ladonia and, and the immediate area, they'll see benefits from people coming, spending the night, spending money in restaurants and, and whatever commercial shops and those type of things uh, come along following the opening of the lake. We believe Lake Ralph Hall is bringing in several opportunities. We believe that it's going to bring in more jobs. There's going to be tourists coming to look at it. There's going to be new stores opening up. We've already seen new people moving in to be closer to the town. So with more, more opportunities, more jobs, then that just brings a better quality of living to our residents here in town. The shoreline area around Lake Ralph Hall between the water and the private property, uh, we understand that that will be accessed by those adjacent property owners. And we needed regulations and rules in place so that when they access that land area, that it doesn't hurt the lake. We are required to maintain a natural area around the lake per our permit for uh, this water body. And so we are putting those plans in place now so that we'll have proper regulations for boat docks, private uses, that sort of thing as you uh, engage the lake as a private landowner. Lake Ralph Hall will be a public lake that's open for use for open recreation. So the, the areas in the, in the water surface, of course, will be used by the public you know, for boating, normal skiing, fishing, all those uh, sorts of normal uses for lakes. Uh, there are a few other features that will be here that will be uh, usable by the public, including a couple of interesting things. One of them being uh, the new fishing jetty we're building have built just off of uh, the highway, the new Highway 34 bridge, where you don't actually have to have a boat to fish at Lake Ralph Hall. You can actually go to the fishing jetty and you can fish from there. 
Uh, a couple of other opportunities, we have several boat uh, ramps planned, one at the Bug Tussle area, one over the FM 1550 North area, and one of them coming out of uh, Ladonia on FM 2990 to access the lake. Those are three public areas where you will be able to launch your boat and have access to the lake. We recognize fossil hunting is very important to the local region, especially the city of Ladonia. And the original fossil park was right here at Highway uh, 34, which will be inundated with water. And so we, uh, Opportunity, has endeavored to relocate that fossil park down behind the dam on the Sulphur River so that those opportunities will continue. Upper Trinity wanted to be a part of this community as well as we wanted to be a part of the building of the lake and the vision that they had for the lake. We have worked really well together. We've uh, obtained a lot of goals uh, together, I do believe. Upper Trinity's been a blessing to our community and uh, we just look forward to a continued relationship, working well together and seeing the success of Lake Ralph Hall. It's a vision that others had that is coming true and is going to be such a big opportunity for Ladonia to grow.